Hi everybody, Vinci Al here, and we have a guest star today, Steve. How's it going? And his Mark IV. We're doing his headliner today. Alright, so this is going to be a three-part episode. And what that means is that we're going to show you how to remove the headliner of a Mark IV. We're going to remove all the adhesive, which is the prepping. And then we're going to actually show you how to wrap everything. And then on episode three, how to install it all back without damaging everything along the way. So stay tuned, because right here, Pichi House Garage. <laughs> Before tampering with anything on the headliner, you want to disconnect your battery. Uh, get a 10 mil. You won't need to do that. Just a 10 mil wrench. And then just disconnect the uh, positive and negative. And then uh, press on the brakes a couple times. That way you can discharge the, uh, uh, the car completely. Once you do that, and then uh, we'll show you what to do next. To do the rear uh, it's identical on the left and the right side so we'll only show how to do one side at a time uh, we're not going to do off all the corners so we're just going to film one side because it doesn't make a difference on what side you do it on but for starters uh, you have to take this seat belt cover and there's a clip underneath at the bottom uh, just try to get it popped open oh, come on Okay, and then this will give you the uh, the socket you're going to need to remove, I mean the, the bolt you're going to need to remove the seatbelt. It's the same size bolt on all four seatbelts. So the extra added tool you're going to need is a 17 mil and a ratchet. If you don't have a ratchet, get a wrench. Sorry, I forgot to mention that earlier. Now remember on how this comes apart because you're going to need to know how to put it back together. And it comes apart in a quite a simple assembly so... But there's a washer and then like a spacer. You'll see here is a spacer, then a washer, then your plastic cover. So pull those out and keep that in mind, okay? So you can move that out of the way. The next step is this piece right here. Uh, this pops straight up, but there's a little hinge right here in this corner. There you go. So pop up in your side cover here. Usually these pop straight forward. Let's see here. So you're gonna pop off the black piece just a bit. Make it nice and loose there, that way you have the space to get this last piece out. Ah, here's a Torx. Forgot this car's never been touched. <laughs> <laughs> so right here where my hand is, right here down below, there's a Torx. So when you pop this door open, there's a T20 Torx right here. Unscrew that, and then you're going to pull straight up, and then just out of the way. Don't take it off all the way, because there's a, there's a little um, point that sits back here in this corner. If you pull that straight up, it's going to damage it. Don't Just don't bother with it. That's all you need to do. You only need this out of the way. That's all we need. So the next thing you're going to do is... Let's see if you 
guys see this? Right here, see this little sill? You want to pull this straight down, and it pops open, or it pops off, and that's your uh, other trim, so remember that. Now back to this uh, panel. So what you want to do, there's a three or two 10 millimeter uh, nuts underneath here. Two. So there's one here and then one right over here somewhere that hold this panel um, completely stuck to the chassis. <laughs> so with the two nuts removed here, the panel is now free to be popped out. Don't pull it towards you, don't pull it away from you, you pull it straight out. Now there's one, let me see if I can show you guys, this will be a tough one, but so you'll see here, here my finger is, there's a clip in here that's pretty hard to pull, you got to pull that one down, but to pull that down you got to pull the clip that's all the way back here, and I'll show you that, uh, that's why we need the vice grips, to grab it and pull it. Um, if you don't have a vice grip, you can also use uh, what we call uh, pick tools. There's little ones that have a little hook on them. You can grab into it and just pull it towards you. I'm going to try to show you what I'm talking about. It's all the way up there. And I'm going to point with it with my vice grip. It's right up here. See that right there? I know it's hard to see, but it's a metal clip, and that clip right there, you gotta grab it and pull it towards you. And then that'll let go that one piece right there. That one, and then don't ever use it again. You never put that back in there. So you'll see here, I took off the little metal plate, and it's out now, so now you can pop that panel off. Now, this still doesn't make, let you take off the entire panel yet. We just got it ready so we can actually uh, take off the door cards. Uh, the door cards don't have to be com have to be pretty much off the windowsill. Um, there's two little little rubber thing um, plastic screws here that you grab, push down, turn, break them loose. There's one here, one down below. Um, take those two off, and then right over here. You're going to try to pry this side of the door away from it, right here, pull this and pull it out to the left and then you're going to do a pull, once it's off of here, you're going to pull the door panel up, over, and then that will give you access to pop the uh, panel off over there. So now with uh, the screws off. You're going to grab right around here and try to pry this forward, not forward but to the left, like that. Like I said, pull it towards you a little bit and then pull up and you're going to hear a pop over here in this corner. It's going to make like a popping noise with metal. If you do hear something fall down, look for it because you're going to need those clips again to hold that piece back. And you'll see here, I pulled it up and out, and now the panel is loose. See that? It's all taken off, and now no longer attached to the car. That's what you want, right there. So all we did was pry here in the corner, pull it over. Once this whole entire piece is off, you want to pull over and then up and over again. And then you'll get this. Leave it alone after that. Don't, don't mess around with the door panel anymore because we don't need to mess with it anymore. Uh, since you're here, you can take this piece off right here. Use that 17 mil uh, socket. Take this off because we need this out of the way as well. So now with the left, and right side removed 
Now you can actually take the the little uh, panel here, pop it off the rest of the way, and it comes right off. The next step is to take off the C belts on the on the A pillars. Actually, no, those are B pillars. And then um, the next one will be your A pillars in the back, in the front, I mean. And those are easy, much easier than what we just did. We're going from hard, medium to easy. <laughs> So, the next thing is this little piece right here. If you have fingernails, just pop that off. There's a Phillips screw right there. You might lose it, who knows, when you unscrew it. Take that off and then we'll show you how to pry this off right here. So, the next thing to do to take this off, if you come over here, you're going to try to pry from down below. Get like a corner. Pick it up, and there you go. Break it loose like that. Now, once you have it off from here, you need to push this way. So, if we're inside the car, we gotta go. Once it's breaking loose, we gotta go left. Um, a couple ways you can do it: you can just pry it open and then bang it that way. That pops right off. So there's that one. So now we have pretty much half of the headliner already removed. I mean, um, pillars removed. The next thing is the uh, oh shit bars. And right here, there's two Phillips. As long as you leave the caps all the way down, you can hold it like that and you can take those screws off. So, next thing, like I said, the next thing we need to do is remove these, all four of them. So get those four off. So now we have all the handles removed. You'll notice the lights, we left them in uh, because we're gonna remove the wiring from behind it versus trying to take these off. These, um, a lot of people who remove these end up damaging them. We're gonna try to prevent that, remove them when the headliner is actually off. So there's a screw here. So you gotta get a little flathead screwdriver and pop that off so you can get the screw that's a Phillips. Using your flathead screwdriver, at the same time, you'll see this little hole here. It's hard to tell, but it's a little hole right inside there. You need to put your flathead screwdriver in it and then crank it, and then so this piece will pop right off. It will scuff or damage the look of this. FYI, unfortunately, there's no way the other way around it without damaging it. They're in there really well. I've never done it without not damaging it. Your little sun cover here has a little. Phillips right here as well. You're gonna take that off. This right here um, pops off, and then there should be two Phillips inside here. Same thing over here. You got two Phillips in here and one in here. Once you have all of that removed, I'll show you what to do next. So I'm gonna show you how to remove this sun visor clip. See where my fly screwdriver is? There's a little notch right there, and all you're gonna do is twist. You see how it makes it all loosey goosey there, and that's it. That's how you remove that, and it exposes the two Phillips screws right there. Let me borrow that pick. So, you guys need this little pick right here. Now, for the sun visor, there's a little notch right here. See that? Grab that. Don't lose the cover which I almost did. And you'll see right there, there's a Phillips screw right there as well. Now, there's a trick to removing these, so don't do it yet. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Yeah, they're, 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 like, they're like hooked in kind of oddly, so I'll show you how to remove that without damaging them, because uh, if you do, you end up damaging it right here and cracking them. All right, so now with, the, uh, with this off, You'll see here how the this hangs. And the reason why, because there's a little hook. So what you need to do is push it up, and I believe you push back, and there you go, and then forward. It's a little tricky, but. It 
the pain, but you guys can get it out. There you go. Now don't yank it out because there's a wire right here. And then you have to pull the clip away from it and down. See that? That's it. That's how you remove that without damaging your visor here. Yeah, I see that. All right. We're down to the last three pieces, almost, or four pieces maybe, of the headliner. Uh, now it's this right here. You'll see you need to grab a little flathead, pry that, and then pull straight down. And if you need to change any bulbs, or this is the way to do it. Huh, yours doesn't have the screws. Hmm. See, I, this is my first time I've ever done a non-sunroof headliner, so... That's really odd. This is, a, this is news for me, guys. <laughs> Alright. I knew there were screws here. You'll see them right there. There's two. One on the left, one on the right. Grab your handy dandy Phillips. And unscrew them. Yeah, I was freaking out. I thought there were no screws on this together. But yeah, there's two of them in there. Get those out, and then this panel has uh, two wires in it, or one, I'm not sure, uh, to hold it in place. So get that so going. So once you take the two screws off here, just let it dangle. Don't mess with it. I couldn't figure out how to pop this off, so we're probably just going to leave it like that and attach the wiring when we install the headliner back again. Uh, we'll figure out how to remove this once the actual headliner comes off. So you'll see here, everything's there. All that's left now is just the two A-pillars, left and right. So the next thing we need to do is pull this A-pillar. And you're going to have to pull it from over here. Now you'll see there's a crease right here. Be careful with that. Um, hold on before you yank it though. Uh, I think the metal clip is right here find out in just a second so you're gonna pry back on this and then right here you want to hold that for me like right there right here there's a little clip that's that metal clip that we we're talking about earlier you're gonna try to there it is and you see that pop right out and that's gonna give me the access. There we go to pull that off. It's a pain, but you'll be able to pop it off. Once you get each, just pull away from the car like we did before. There's that clip. You're never gonna reuse this. Don't put this back in there. And you pull the pillar. And remember how we pulled this out? Look, straight. So over to the right and out. On the other side, same process, go to the left, pull out. Um, that's how you remove the A-pillar. The next thing is, you'll see there's some wiring over here. This is your headliner wiring. You're going to unplug it from right here. Two clips. Oh, I'll pull the whole thing out. I'll push it back in. But you'll see the two clips right here. Pull this out. And then uh, that'll unwire this. And remember where it's fished through? Because you want to push it back in in the same way. Because this all has to come out with the headliner. So now that you remove both left and right pillars, pretty much you're done for removing the headliner. Now you'll see here. Now if you have a G GTI, it has to come out through the hatch. If you have a Jetta, it has to come out through the passenger doors. Just FYI, and it's gonna be a lot harder, and you have to like bend it slightly to smish it out. So, have fun with that, guys. <laughs> but so the next thing is, you're gonna want to pull it out of the uh, trim here, all the way across. Just be slow. Don't be fast about it. Okay, now it will drop. It's fine. It's supposed to. Let's get out of the car. So while it's on, while it's down. You'll see here, we need to pull the wiring up out of the way. Just put it on top. 
and you'll see it's all off the head uh, car now. So that's it. Go to the back to your hatch. You want to hold that really quick? Yeah. Just hold it right there. You're fine there. So once it's down, you're literally just going to pull it out towards you and just wiggle it all the way through until it comes out. And that's your headliner. Removal, everybody. Done.